Hey everyone, this is Gauri Manoj and you are watching Gorse. So this is part three of my daily vlogs, where I try to share the understanding or knowledge of this amazing book that I've been reading, Zero to One. We are in chapter three right now. Chapter three's name is All Happy Companies Are Different. So just like every other chapter, this chapter, ke bhi starting me there is this one line that is interesting me. What valuable company is nobody building? Never thought in these lines actually, you know. And now when I am thinking, I'm not finding an answer to this. So just comment down below what you think because I'm too pretty confused. The author also says that creating value is not enough. You need to capture some of the value that you create. And he has compared. He has given an example and compared the U.S. Airlines and Google. So let's see. U.S. Airlines serves millions of people and makes billions of dollars. In in 2012, when fare price 178 dollars ho gaya tha, from each passenger they could only make a profit of 37 cents. Now let's see Google. Google has less value but captures far more. So in 2012, Google bought in 50 billion dollars versus 160 billions of airlines. Now, is me you think that obviously the airline scenario is better? But no. But Google made 21 percent profit. That is hundred times more than what the airline. Is. So this scenario, so what the thought, right? Just read about the airlines, or if you just read about Google, probably this thought won't cross your mind. So comparison, लेने के बाद जो outlook मिला है, at least for me, it is काफी नया. I'm sure it pinches to be on the airline side because it looks big and you know you put in all the works, but the profit that you gain is somehow lesser than a company like Google. But now I want to know what it feels like to be on Google's side. Some more unique things about Google. Okay, Google has never claimed monopoly, but is it? It is actually, but only on some aspects. Let me explain. Google has monopoly only when it comes to the search engine part. There are no competitors even loitering around Google. The only ones were Microsoft and Yahoo. And apparently, Google primarily is an advertising company. It is not even close to having a monopoly over there. Google also has a business in creating software products, robotic cars, and phones, etc. Again, it's just a mere fraction. It is nothing close to being in a monopoly. If you look at it, the most profit is made by the search engine business. But when did we learn this? Whenever we've learned economics or anything like that, we have learned this thing that perfect competition is better than monopoly. Perfect competition is always the ideal case, right? But here, in their saying, there is something else. If perfect competition is there, then in the long run, may no company makes economic profit. Monopoly is there. Its ikloota meaning that they're trying to give in this book is that be so good that no one comes close. Businesses, yeah, to perfect competition can be there, yeah, to monopoly can be there. But most businesses are close to one extreme than we commonly realize. And the best part about all of this is that monopolists have a life for themselves. People in the competitive market also have a life for themselves. Monopolists' ka chhoot aisa hota hai. They exaggerate the power of competition. Okay. They exaggerate the power of non-existent competition. People in the competitive market lie. Quote unquote, we are in a league of our own. To stay true to this standard, extent that people go to is something really shocking. So there is something called Michelin star, and ये एक award होता है जो restaurants को दिया जाता है for being at a particularly high standard. And achieving this was like the greatest achievements for the chefs there. So there was this one chef called Bernard Loiseau, and he was so obsessed that he said that he would commit suicide if someone took this. From him. But in 2003, he actually committed suicide when a competing French dining guide downgraded his restaurant. So, in this, me, what I realized is that no one else is doing it. Can actually be better. Maybe no one is doing it for a reason. Maybe no one is doing it because they know that it's not going to scale over there. Yet again, the author comes back to the perks of monopoly. So the major difference between monopoly and competitive market is that monopolists can actually focus on their workers' welfare, products, research, etc., while others can't because others have just one thing on mind to focus, and that is money. And one second we focus, hata, they'll be done. They'll be overtaken by others. So this is another line that I felt is very impactful. In businesses, money is either important or it is everything. Like honestly, if we look at the entire scenario. Monopoly kind of had a bad reputation, right? School maybe I see, taught us that like perfect competition is better than monopoly. Perfect competition is ideal, etc., etc. Monopoly bad reputation deserved कर सकता था if and only if we lived in a world where nothing changes. So monopoly से actually will get motivated and keen on innovation. They just want to keep that status of monopoly. Best line and the closing line of this chapter: What is monopoly? Monopoly is the condition of every success. 
successful business. That is it for chapter three. I found it very interesting and this was sort of an eye opener. I got to know how I can also think about the other side of the coin of, you know, certain things. And uh, yep, that is it. I will see you tomorrow with the fourth chapter of this amazing book that I'm reading, Zero to One.